Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me again. Jessica McGovern, international multi-award winning portrait photographer. And today we're gonna to be doing some tree bobbing with dogs. I'm gonna break this down into multiple different steps to hopefully help you out a little bit, but there is a full live, already done and recorded interactive session with some members that's in the members area of the MTOG vault. So if you've not looked at our membership yet, go ahead and check out the memberships above. Now you might have seen this technique before, in a vlog that we released back in March, I think, of 2023, which was for the Society's Convention, because one of my images shot using this technique ended up going through the print competition and then hanging in the exhibition. So if you've not seen that video and you wanna check it out, stay here and watch this one first, but then go ahead and hit that link above. We'll also link it in the description below. So tip number one is all about safety. Of course, if you're new here, then you might not know that safety is sort of my top priority when we're going through this. And there is one real risk with doing these shoots. And I need to highlight that first. It's very, very important that you're aware of the risks of water intoxication in dogs. It can be fatal. So this is very, very important to listen to right now. In my personal opinion, when I've been doing this, I've been doing these for a little bit of a while now, I wouldn't be doing more than two tank refills when the water gets mucky with any one dog because you're pushing up the risk of water intoxication quite high and therefore it's just not worth the risk. If you've got a gulper or a diver in the dog that you're working with, then you want to strip that back even less. So just be really, really careful when you're doing these shoots that you keep it to very, very, very short sessions and don't overdo the dog. Tip number two is to use strip boxes. Strip boxes are super narrow soft boxes and it's really important that you go ahead and use these with a grid, which is the little fabric front on the front of these lights. Of course, the ones we're using are from Pixapro. So they're both stacked on top of my lights over there and Pixapro do these awesome strip boxes that I 100% obviously rate because we use them all the time. Tip number three is to go ahead and use them from a black background to put against your glass. We just clamp these on which is way easier than faffing around with anything else. So tip number three would be to use something black. It makes a massive difference. Tip number four is to always make sure that you're using clean water. Make sure that the water is not cloudy. You'll know at which point you need to change the water. You won't need me to do it for you. It is really important that it stays clean. Now, this is one of the reasons why this type of a shot and this shooting technique is actually quite wasteful because of how much water you're going to get through. So if there's anything that I can recommend to make this as environmentally friendly as possible is to actually reuse the water that you're going to turf out in between these shots um, and what I personally would do is save it collect it in a water butt and then use it on your garden or for plants in the house tip number five is to also make sure that the glass stays clean so the glass on the tank has to remain as clean as possible at all times for me I just prioritize the front pane um, and that's the most important one for me so try and make sure that stays bubble free and bits free for as long as physically possible and so if you put all of those tips together, make sure that all of your normal shooting things are in place and you shouldn't have really any issue capturing shots like the ones I'm gonna show you on the screen right now. Don't forget to share your results with us on social media by tagging us at that tog spot and using the hashtag that tog shot. We'll be able to find you that way and hopefully share your images with the rest of our community. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, drop it down in the comments box below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.